She makes her living by selling little pieces of her soul painted onto a canvas. Her art often imitates her own life. Much of it is dark and tells a troubling story. For renowned Aboriginal artist Jackie Traverse, putting the brush to the canvas is an emotional outlet that she can't get anywhere else. To put it simply, art is her therapy. I've been able to deal with a lot of things through making art, and it's kind of like therapy at some point where, like, you know, things that I couldn't talk about to somebody, I, I can make a piece, and that's what that, that piece is about. Traverse is best known for her traditional woodland style of art, namely her turtles, which she sells in galleries all over Canada, including the Wausau Gallery at the Johnston Terminal at the Forks. In the almost two years that we have represented her here commercially in Winnipeg, she has proven to be one of the most successful new artists that we have ever handled. As a young adult, Traverse lived a hard lifestyle and battled many demons. While serving a six-month stint in jail, she did a lot of soul-searching and expressing her emotions through art. It was then and there that she decided she wanted to turn her life around. I always knew that, uh, somehow I always knew that I was going to be an artist, no matter what, like, even though I was going to jail and I was like, I was, I had addiction problems and there was always a part of me, like, deep in my heart that knew that I would overcome one day and that I would be an artist. After getting out, Traverse made subtle changes in her life. She eventually enrolled in the University of Manitoba's Fine Arts program as a mature student and received a diploma in 2009. This was it. This is the last chance you get to do this, eh? Because, you know, getting up there in years and, you know, I had to do it. It was now or never. So it's the first time I started something and completed it and it feels good. Making her living as an artist, Traverse admits that she sometimes struggles financially. When she sells a piece of work, the money is good. And when she doesn't, it's scarce. However, that doesn't bother her. Traverse says she doesn't mind paying that price for living her dream because she's used to living hand to mouth. Um, I, I come from poverty, so I, I I know how to get by on very little. I can stretch a dollar really, really far if I have to, and uh, the money that that I do make it usually goes back into more supplies and just my basic living. Like I don't. Uh, I don't need a lot of money to, to live. As a kid growing up in poverty in Winnipeg's North End, Traverse made her own toys out of anything she could find. Once, when she was four years old, she even made herself a pair of shoes out of a cardboard box and some thread because she didn't have any and she was sick of cutting her feet on broken glass outside. I stomped out of the house and they were all laughing at me because <laughs> I took things into my own hands and I made my own shoes even though they were so flimsy and they fell apart right away. But uh, I got shoes the next day. <laughs> Traverse's life can be best summed up in her contemporary work, which reflects on social issues like drug abuse, poverty, and racism. However, beyond the layers of paint, there is a woman who has prevailed through so many hardships and who has overcome the odds that were stacked against her. As long as I'm painting, I'm, I'm pretty much happy. So it's been a tough journey for Traverse. She's achieved her childhood dreams of hanging her art in the Wausau Gallery. Shelley Cook, Live at Five.